Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a haul video and it's a Naomi's haul video. If you guys aren't familiar with Naomi's, it's an industry based makeup store and it's located in LA. So when we had a trip planned to California, I decided that I definitely want to go visit Naomi's. Some of the products that I actually bought are only available at these specialty makeup stores or industry based makeup stores and it's not available in like Sephora or Ulta. And Naomi's also has like industry based uh, discounts. So if you're a student, if you're a makeup artist you can always apply for their pro discount and get some discount some of these products I've already used uh, once or twice but I haven't used them too much to give you a review but I can give you like a first impression on it so let's go ahead and get started for the first few products that I have are the Desi X KT dose of colors collaboration and I already did a video on this and I've already used all these products I wanted to quickly mention this because I did pick it up from Naomi's a few weeks after I did this whole uh, haul so I wanted to include these in there just so you guys know that it's available there. I got the eyeshadow palette, I got the Mirame highlight and I also got the hot fire liquid lipstick from uh, their website and I I will link that video down below if you guys are interested. I haven't used this a ton but from what I've used I love them and uh, Mirame is the highlight that I'm wearing today. It's like a rose coldy highlight. It's a very wet looking highlight and even though it's only been like a couple of weeks I already love this uh, highlight because you can build this highlight up and make it really popping, really glowy or you can just you know add a subtle highlight like today I have very subtle highlight and I also use my sponge to blend it out but even then I can still see the highlight through it and I highly recommend if you guys are closer to my skin tone. Next one I have is a makeup brush cleaner and this is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I've heard a lot of good things about this uh, cleaner so I did buy this. It's this blue transparent liquid and this tin came with this. This is just like a basic tin which helps you like pour the liquid into it and you, you know scrub onto the brushes. This is not for deep cleansing any of your brushes. Um, I mean you can but it's it's got too much alcohol in it and I wouldn't suggest using on an everyday basis but if you're between using these brushes like say you use a eye, eye brush and I and you quickly want to reuse it you can just take a paper towel put some of this into the into the tin dip it in and like rub it in the paper towel and it disappears and I've used this twice before on like my eye brushes just just to see how it works and and it actually works I picked up a couple of brushes from Delium tools but it's already out of the packaging because I used it a couple of times and I got this slanted precision kabuki brush and the shape is a little off I, I think if I wash it once it'll get back into shape this is a beautiful packaging it feels very luxurious so far I've used it I've really liked this this is like a smaller dense kabuki brush that helps you with like the foundation application if you want like a full coverage foundation then this is a very good one the other brush that I used is I it's very dirty I don't wash it yet this is like the slanted pencil brush hold on let me see if I can show you how to use the cleanser the this cleanser actually evaporates very quickly so make sure you don't waste too much of it just pour very little every time you use it uh, once you take it out of the bottle it evaporates soon so I pour just a tiny bit into this box I'm gonna dip it in I have the paper towel and I'm just gonna rub it through there it takes away it's like very quick and it's also dry I can actually just go ahead and use it now if I want to since I have a little bit left and I have another dirty brush, I'm gonna use this one so you guys can see how the clean brush looks. Okay, so this one is the 773 and it's the eyeshadow brush and it's called the Shading Blender. I always wanted to try Delium tools but it's not readily available in like Sephora or other stores so when I went there I picked these three brushes and I love it. Next product that is something that I've been wanting for a very very long time but I never you know ended up buying it but this time when I went in I'm like I'm just gonna try it. So this one is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I really really wanted it for a very long time but I don't really contour my face too much. I do every now and then but 
I'm not like an everyday contour girl like I don't I use a little bit of bronzer I use blush but I don't do too much of it but I know this uh, product is like so many people's favorite and every youtuber out here loves it so I wanted to try this out and look at the packaging it's like this beautiful studded packaging and uh, Kat Von D is a tattoo artist so all her packaging are usually good and when you open it it's got a beautiful mirror in there and they have like three uh, translucent setting powders and, th and these are for contouring and bronzing you want your co contour to be like cool tone but not too much cool tone and this is the perfect shade for it and the bronzer too I really like the bronzer and I've been using it for a while now and so far I really love it the powder is really finely milled it doesn't feel too heavy on your skin see how you can make this work with pretty much any skin tone the next product is another product that I've been wanting to buy for a very long time this is the makeup forever ultra HD foundation and this is a foundation that is universally loved by everyone. This photographs beautifully and even though I've only used it a couple of times, I can already vouch for it. This is a very pretty foundation. It has a satin finish to it. It's not matte, it's not dewy. It has like a satin natural finish to it. It is not a full coverage foundation. You can only build it from light to medium. I already know I love it and I know this is going to be one of my favorites. I picked a couple of these LA Girl Pro Conceal HD correctors. I have the orange corrector and I have the green corrector. You guys know I'm a big fan of the concealers. I use the to shade Toffee for my contour all the time and I love it. And I also have one of the shades uh, as an under eye concealer. I don't like it too much as my under eye concealer. I don't see it doing too much. I do like the contour shade a lot. So I wanted to pick up like the corrector shades. It's like a squeezy tube and it's an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage is that it has a squeezy tube with the brush tip applicators so you can just use the brush to apply it directly under the skin. But the disadvantage is every time I've used it there's a little bit of air that gets inside and you know the tube looks really full but when I'm, when I'm trying to get the concealer I feel like the water comes out first and then the concealer is in the back. So every time I use it I make sure that I squeeze it well and I shake it well before I use it. And this one is the green corrector. So correctors are usually used for helping with the discoloration. The orange corrector, you can use it under the eyes for like the dark circles or if you have any like pimple spots or like discoloration in your face, you can use it. And green corrector is usually for like brightening effect. This orange does look really pigmented. I, I hope it doesn't come through the um, concealer, but I'm going to use these and I'm going to keep you guys posted. The next product is another hyped up product that I couldn't find it anywhere and this is the RCMA No Color Powder. And this is a powder that Kathleen Lights initially spoke about it and Jacqueline Hill spoke about it and suddenly it was all over YouTube, everybody was using it. I never ended up buying it and when I went to Namie's I knew I wanted to pick this up. This is like a translucent powder. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh. There is a lot of kick up there. Right away I can say that I'm not a big fan of this packaging. It's too bulky to travel with. I probably would dump this in like a regular packaging and take it. It's a very very finely milled product and feels so good. It feels really smooth. It kind of disappeared into the skin. The next product is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray and this is the bridal version. Scandinavia is a company that makes Urban Decay sprays. The Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and like all their fixing sprays are made by this company. So I wanted to test this one out and see how this one performs as opposed to the Urban Decay one. Uh, especially because you can get a little bit more product in this as opposed to that one and for the price you're paying. And I checked with one of the Nami's salesperson and she said that she loves the bridal one. Let's just spray this to see how this feels on the skin. I'm always a little bit scared to spray. Okay. This one sprays really well and I see that it absorbed a little bit of my powderiness. 
but I don't see any like dewy finish on my skin or anything. I probably have to use it more to see how I feel about it, but I'll keep you guys posted. Next product is a very random product. It's the bobby pin. Who doesn't want a bobby pin? It's just a basic black bobby pin that I picked. Next, I have two of the NYX uh, lip liners. I have the shade Rose and I have the shade Burgundy. And I've already used the NYX lip liners and I know that I love them. The last product is another exciting product. It's the Stella Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadow and it's in the shade small ring satin and when it first came out i feel like everyone and their mother were talking about this if you like glitter eyeshadows then you look no more you have to just go and buy this one i got the one that i thought i would wear a lot and i wanted something to have a little bit golden and rose gold reflex to it and look at that you guys isn't that glowing goodness I tried it on my eyes the other day. I'm I'm gonna try pop a little bit on my eye just to show you guys. And I already know I'm gonna have a tough time removing it, but why not, right? Now I don't have a base, so it's just gonna look like glitter. But if I have a full eyeshadow look on and then I put this on, this will just pop. Can you guys see it? I'm gonna do a look using this product very soon. In fact, I'm gonna use pretty much everything that I got in this haul and do a makeup video just because I feel like these are products that are really hyped up in the industry everybody uses it and I want you guys to see it on my skin tone you can see if it'll work for you depending on how it looks on my skin tone so that's pretty much it I do not know how much it cost me I probably spent a little bit more than uh, usual but honestly I haven't shopped makeup products in a long time and I just thought it was my birthday so I just went hey with that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel also let me know what was your favorite out of this haul in the comment section down below and see you guys in my next video bye guys It's just a basic black bobby print. It's just a basic. It's just a basic black bobby. Print. It's just a basic black bobby print. It's just a basic. My husband was here. He would yell at me for using my teeth to do it. But oh god, seriously.